Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here, and I want to talk to you about clearing data and cache automatically. Now, before we get started with the way I do it, I want to show you some apps from the App Store and why I'm not going to be using those. So the one I have here is App Cache Cleaner One Tap Boost or something like that from the Google Play Store, and I have it right here on the left side of the screen. The reason we're not going to be doing this simply with just this app right here, the App Cache Cleaner from One Boost, is because this is not going to give us any capabilities to get rid of the data. And for the way I'm going to get rid of the data, I might as well include the cache clearing as well. In other words, what this app does. And I'll you'll understand what I mean as you watch through this video, but I just want to demonstrate. So we have Ad Fun on the screen right here. And this app builds up an obscene amount of cash. Obscene. You will get so much cash built up from AdFund, at least as of now. Hopefully they can fix that. Just gigabytes of cash. So I went into the AdFund folder and I'm going to go to storage. And as you can see, 14.52 megabytes for the cash, 53 for the data. That's what builds up when you get the the uh, the buildup. It's not really even cash buildup, it's data. So technically I was wrong when I said that. But then basically when you go back to App Cache Cleaner, and you delete that, all you get deleted is the cache. But as you can see, that data is much worse than that cache. There's also an app on the App Store when you type in data clear that I looked at along with all the other junk cleaners. And this right here isn't useful because there's no scheduler and I want this to be automatic. And when you actually open it, it's not like you can even tap within the app in order to clear data. When you click on an app, it's just gonna take you to the settings to actually delete the storage. So not very, not really the right solution for what I'm looking for here. So that's what we have to delete. And that's what I want to share with you today because I couldn't find any apps on the App Store that would allow us to do this. Warning, you need root, that's how I do it. If you don't have root, you can delete the cache this way, which hence is probably why there's a lot of apps on the Google Play Store that'll allow you to do this without root. But the data clearing requires root and we're going to be using something familiar if you've been watching for a little while called script manager we use this back whenever we did automatic reboots when you download script manager i'll leave a link to all this stuff in the description you want to make sure you browse as root or at least give it root access at some point and there'll be another point when we can do this so i'm not even gonna bother doing anything right now down here at the bottom i created my own folder for script manager i recommend you do that you can do that by clicking on the plus up here and just creating a new directory. So here's my script manager directory. And there's the reboot script. Very simple one line script from that video I can put in your cards right now. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add a new script. So we're going to make a script and I'll call it data clear. It's going to ask you what you want to open it with. I just do the SM editor. So now we have the script created, we need to get our file paths that we're going to be deleting. We're just using a little bit of Linux command line stuff to do this. And I'll put this file on my website so you can download it. This is just for the example of AdFun. The file names are obviously going to change depending on what data files you're deleting, but I hope you get the idea through this video so you can configure it for any app. So go back and we're going to open up ES File Explorer in order to surf because I already have Script Manager open to edit the script. So we're technically using two separate file managers here. Go to your sidebar and head on over to the home folder. Once you're here, you'll see the Android folder. Click that and then go into data. And then from this point, find the add fun folder. It's actually this one right here. It's hard to read. If I go to properties and we can read the full name, it's add fun. So keep an eye out for that. We have to get this file name because this is what we're going to delete. So go to properties and copy full path. And we're going to go back into our script manager. And then we're going to type in RM dash R, that stands for recursive, so delete everything inside of every folder in there, and then just paste the file name, and that's all we have to do. And then the next file set we're going to be doing is the data. So this is the cache. This is what the app can actually do. I showed you in a lot of cache cleaners on Google Play. So then go to your data, whoops. Oh, I don't have Root Explorer on, that's why. So you're gonna have to scroll down and turn on Root Explorer from your sidebar. And yeah, you're going to have to configure it. So if that doesn't pop up, click that again on the sidebar. And we have to mount every single thing. And from that point, if I go back in here, we have all of our root access directories. So now you have to scroll down to data again. 
And now you have to find the add fun folder. So it's going to be after all the com.android folders directly after since it's add fun. But whatever app we're doing, find it just as we did with uh, with the cache. And it looks like it's this one again. We'll do properties to make sure. There it is. So that's the add fun folder. You need to copy the full path for this. Now this one's going to be done a bit differently. You can't just paste it and then run this script because the app is going to crash when you try and open it again. This folder, no matter what I tried, could not be deleted. Even if I emulated the permissions and the owner, you can't delete the top folder. So what we're going to have to do after this, this whole second line is we're going to have to put in a star. So that's going to delete everything underneath the folder, but not that top folder itself. Otherwise the app will crash. You can delete the whole cache folder, you just can't delete the whole data folder for some reason. Make sure you save it, and we're going to go out. Here we have our data clear script, and we're going to run it. Actually, first I want to get, uh, give you a mental note of what the cache looks like in settings for ad funds so you can watch this. As you can see, even some cache buildup from when we cleaned it from the uh, Google Play Store app. Go back into Script Manager. This is where you have to check this uh, super SU because you need that super user permission to uh, clear the, the uh, second line of code we did. So click SU, and it looks like I already have actually given permissions on this phone, so it's not asking me anything. That just has to be lit up. And now I'm going to click Run. And it looks like everything did everything the way it was supposed to go. And if you go back, everything's gone. So that's how you clear data and cache. You want to do it automatically on its own? Well, if you guys remember with Script Manager before, you just go to the three-dot menu, Advanced, scheduler, add a new task, add script, data clear, add the name, call it clear data add fun or something like that, and you're you're good to go. That's it. And then you can even change the times if you want. But one, one time a day when you're going to be around is uh, good enough because you have to be around in order to actually sign back in again. I know that kind of sucks. I haven't actually went in, into detail of, you know, trying to figure out maybe I could find the login configuration files and delete everything but that. Uh, just delete the you know the video buildup or whatever you get on any money making app, but that's how you delete everything, the data and the cache, and that's how I'm going to be doing it. I hope that video was helpful to you guys, and I'll be back more with money making tips later on this week. If you haven't checked it out, we have the volcano back up. You can get some free Amazon gift cards. They're shooting out one dollar a day right now. It's doing pretty well, and hopefully I can do more gift cards here in the future. I'm working on an app to notify you when the volcano explodes. One of the worst months of the year for money making is almost over. The month of January usually picks up for me around the Super Bowl time. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later and have fun making money. Site dedicated to showing you how you can make extra money with smartphones and computers. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. It takes some work to get set up, but once it's set up, it's not so bad. I'm making about $1,700 a month as of this video, and I have 